That fizzle on the cobbles in the early morning, that's my Liverpool. We're a half eaten forty and your lace on done, you're gonna be late for school. And the ship when the cargo of containers coming in through the locks. And the bus with the cargo of hangovers heading down to the docks. My Liverpool, the town of dogs and kids all kicking up in the street. Won't you give that dog a bone, my give that kid a sweet. And the people know how to treat rangers, see that open door. If you've never had a plate in my mask house, then you've never lived before. It's roaring, bustling, open wide, the northwest gate to me. There's no place like a Liverpool alehouse. In fact, they used to call Liverpool the city of pubs and churches. But there was more pubs than there was churches. <laughs> Some people said that. There was little else for the working fellas to do, of course. But you must remember that all this was in the days before. The wireless and the telly and the picture house. And nowadays it's the squash courts and the recreation centres and the videos. Uh, Years ago, you know, the pub was the social water and all for the Scouser. Because he couldn't use the excuse that he was going off to his gentleman's club, like the posh fellas always did. So it was an accepted fact to some, and a necessary evil to others. But you can say what you like. The pub played an immense part in the life of Liverpool. Ah, yeah. And what a great place. Liverpool. The city of poets, politicians and playwrights, cathedrals, teams and tunnels, actors, architects and artists, statesmen, singers and seamen. God, beautiful buildings, panoramic parklands and maritime marvels. And of course, it's people. The Scousers, families, friends and neighbours who make Liverpool what it is. My own town. My own town. And whether you've lived here all your life, or you're just here for a visit, come on in and join us. Sit down and have a bevy. Get your feet under the table, eh? You're always welcome. Or as we say, your sound is a pound. You know, there used to be a saying in Liverpool, if you can't fight, then wear a big hat. I love Everton. I like Liverpool. I watch Everton. I stick up for Liverpool. I support some heroes. Get out of it. <laughs> How did he get in there? Because <laughs> it's usually sorted out when they christen a baby, you know. What about the Grand National? That sorts out the winners from the cart horses, doesn't it? Oh, someone said that the gateway to entry race course is called the National Front. But don't you believe it, lads. The Grand National is one of the hardest, most gruelling races in the world. Memories. When you're young, you make them. And as you get older, you live with them. But they're nice, aren't they? I like them. Owl dogs, owl pubs, owl jokes. And one of the nicest things you can remember about Liverpool. The old houses in the old streets. The cheerful rows 
of terraced houses, bright cotton curtains, the laces and the nets, gleaming letterboxes and knockers, front doorsteps, scrubbed over the years until they dipped in the middle with London stone, sandstone, donkey stone and alternate bricks framing the doorways in cardinal red and white. You never had to knock because the doors were always open or just on the jam. Yeah, friends and neighbours we were because we all knew each other. Walk right in, go on. It didn't matter if you were the pruey man, the fire bobby, the priest, the vicar, your fat auntie Mary, or just the kid who wanted a shilling for the gas meter. Up the lobby you went, stepping over the household mongrel or the owl moggy which was sat on the front doorstep. <laughs> the lobby, do you remember it? Six yards of turkey red lino from Stairless and a jute runner down the middle with somebody's bike leaning against the wall. The handlebars making scratches on the leatherette wallpaper. There was generally a picture too. Either our Lord or William of Orange. Come in, son. The fat lady in the flowery penny moves summer comics and a football echo off a chair. Sit down, lad. You'll have to take us as you find us. How many times have you heard that? <laughs> so you sit yourself down and get presented with one of those blue and white stripy mugs full of steam and tea. And if your luck was in, you got a butty. Nothing special. Just what everyone else was having. Brawn, corn dog, or a great big jammy doorstep. They are. Get your gob around that. Living rooms weren't called living rooms then. That was the kitchen. The back kitchen was where the tea was made. The Chalamotes, the M.I.P. and all and the clan are flying the flags of all nations. Tell me, big Morty, the the great ships come in where the Liverpool dockers are waiting. <laughs> Let's face it. If you live in Liverpool, it's either your dad or your brother or your Uncle Charlie or somebody you know from somewhere who's had something to do with the docks. My granddad was a docker. My dad drove a lorry in and out and around the Liverpool docks all his life. Eventually, I became a docker myself. When I was down there, I looked around me at all the fellas from down our way and I thought, hey, we all went down the docks. You know, they have a sense of humour down there that's all their own. Especially the docker's nicknames. Have you ever heard of the sick lobster? Well, he was a fella who used to stay off, and when they asked him why the next day, he used to say, ah, well, the nippers were bad. Or the lonely baker. That was an old guy who wouldn't work any overtime. He used to say, oh, there's only me and the tart in our house now. Of course, the famous one is a docker called the Diesel Fitter. That was the lad who used to go around opening cases and pulling ladies' underwear out and saying, Oh, oh yes, Diesel Fitter. <laughs> you can't escape having a nickname on Liverpool docks. One lad thought he could by just keeping quiet. He worked there for about three years and never said a word. So you know what they nicknamed him? The Dummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember when I was down there myself, you know, there was this doctor who came in late, and he said it was because he'd been to his grandmother's funeral and it went into extra time. Yeah. <laughs> and one of the lads, you know, on the docks, they were originally in the Merchant Navy first, they were seamen, but they packed in going to sea. But in Liverpool, they don't call it packing in going to sea. In Liverpool and down on the docks, we've got our own name for it. Oh, swallow the anchor, you're the zero in food. Swallow the anchor, keep your feet in Liverpool. Keep your feet in Liverpool. You started quite young on the Isle of Man's steamships. 
Then when you were only you went for the deep sea trips White star, blue funnel, pea and all To me they're all the same You spend your poke and come on rope Then go to sea again Oh, swallow the anchor You're a sea-going fool Swallow the anchor Keep your feet in Liverpool Keep your feet in Liverpool Ship Navy, rip up your out, pay boot. All those good discharges, they are worth a second loot. Stay out of tramps and whalers, leave the Liberty ships alone. There's not a rivet in them, you might never make it home. Oh, swallow the anchor, you're a sea with blue. Swallow the anchor, keep your feet in Liverpool, keep your feet in Liverpool. A man at sea is a good A.B. because it's all he knows. The pavement streets is not the same as the deck beneath your toes. Forget the wife, the sea, your life alone there in your kit. You're no good to a woman when you're married to a ship. Whoa! Swallow the anchor, you're a sea-going food. Swallow the anchor, keep your feet in Liverpool. Keep your feet in Liverpool. Stay out of Sydney Harbour and don't go near Port Said. Take the kids on the ferry boats as far as Birkin Head. It's no good when you're 60 with salt water in your shoes. All you've got to show for it is an handful of tattoos. Oh, swallow the anchor, get a sea going food. Swallow the anchor, keep your feet in Liverpool. Keep your feet in Liverpool. He'd love to come back and see the longest underwater tunnels in the British Isles. And for a free port too now, with our old docks converted into a maritime museum, and the Albert Dock Village, and the new grain and timber and container terminals out at sea for, there's ferry boats, an airport, a couple of motorways, a crack in city centre markets, lots of big stores, and some of the finest big hotels anywhere. What more could you want? Greek, Mexican, Indian and French restaurants, we've got them la. Oh, and some of the finest Chinese eating houses in Europe. And you want to see how large it is? Hey, put them all together, and I reckon that really makes scouts. Liverpool is more than my city, it's home. Like the song says, I never walk alone. She's a lady, in fact she's all women to me. The owl girl who lives by the sea. Liverpool, the eternal mother, always was and always will be. Fare thee well, you princess, land and stage, river mercy, fare thee well. For I'm bound for California, it's a place I know right well. So fare thee well, my own true love, and when I reach them, united we will sing. Over mercy, fare thee well, for I'm bound for California, it's a place I know right well. So fare thee well. 